Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Mark Campus here, and welcome to another installment of Mark Tastes Random Things. You know, what kind of got me back into doing these videos like this is the fact that in this year, 2020, Westlock got a Dairy Queen. I have become a regular customer down at the Dairy Queen uh, thanks to their app. I've just about got enough points for a free cake. That's how much I'm down at Dairy Queen. So with me doing these videos again, it just occurred to me, how come I haven't done a Dairy Queen Blizzard yet? So I figured I would change that today. Today we'll be sampling Dairy Queen's Blizzard of the Month for December 2020, the Peppermint Hot Cocoa Blizzard. As you can see, it's made with a chocolatey version of their classic soft serve. It looks like we have chunks of chocolate in there. It's topped with a dollop of whipped cream, and we got a little bit of a crushed up candy cane sprinkles on top. I guess that would be one of my top complaints there. When they did their trademark, turn the blizzard upside down thing when they presented it to me, some of the candy cane sprinkles fell off. So that doesn't count, I know, for an entire blizzard falling on the ground, but yep, I lost some of the candy sprinkles, so I feel like I should note that. You can also see it's starting to melt a little bit, too. This has been my concern with doing this with blizzards. Uh, by the time I get home and I get all my gear set up, they're starting to melt just a little bit. So we won't lose marks for presentation because of that. It's kind of funny. I've sent out my Christmas card letter for the year. And in my Christmas card letter, I say that between pandemic stress eating and the Dairy Queen opening up, this has not been a good year for my diet. This is the perfect example of how the pandemic has not been good for my diet. This is breakfast. Yeah. Ooh, there we go. Like I said, melty a little bit. But anyway, let's dig into my healthy breakfast here, shall we? So the candy cane sprinkles aren't just on top, they are actually blended into the blizzard. And if you're not expecting them, they're a bit of an unexpected crunch. And the way that sugar candy sticks to your teeth, it makes for a nice pepperminty aftertaste. Mm. 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 Oh yeah. You get the chunks of the chocolate and the chunks of the candy cane. It all makes for a wonderful blend. So, yep. No, really tasting the chocolate now. It's nice and chocolatey with an unexpected crunch. So, yeah. Definitely a big thumbs up for the Peppermint Hot Cocoa Blizzard.